You were had your, your handcuffed. One arm was handcuffed by the police. Why was that? Well, why don't we have a look at the clip first and have a little look and see what you can make of it. Have a look. You say you're saying I'm Martin Daubney, I heard there. <laughs> now, the footage wasn't great for that clip. It was Martin's uh, uh, phone recording while he was uh, nearly arrested. Um, but that shows a moment when you were cuffed by a policeman as you tried to reason with them, didn't you, Martin? Yeah, so just so everyone's clear, so when I walk out of the studio here in Westminster, basically, these protests happen all the time. And I always wander into them because they're on my way home, back <laughs> to the Tube. So I've been to pro-Palestine protests, I've been to pro-Israel protests, I've been to Remain marches, I've been to Brexit marches. Last night, I went to this march. Now, as you can see there, I've just been filming. Um, there were bottles being thrown, smashing around my feet. There were lots of coppers in full riot gear. And by the way, you don't see anything approaching anything like that when they're pro-Palestine march. They have a very different policing approach. In terms of what they're wearing, you mean, the police? In terms of what they're approaching, in, in terms of how they form up, they're in lines, it's organised, it's much more hostile, they're carrying batons, they've got, they, they've, got, they've got the shields, so it creates a very different environment. I was there, bottles but were But did anything happen before that to mean that the police had to be all, all tooled up for a bit of a fight? No, I think it's the expectation of what may come, and I think mm. actually that's the chilling thing about Keir Starmer's speech today. If they decide a speech or a gathering is of great significance and the policing response is appropriate. So I was filming at this point, people being arrested literally right next to me on the floor. I was filming it for the channel and I just felt a pair of, it was right about this moment, I felt some handcuffs put on my right arm, mm. my back, my arm was just around my back and I, just was, I was very calm, as you can see in the footage. I said, what are you doing? I work at GB News, I'm a journalist, I'm just doing my job. They say, have you got a press pass? Now, I haven't got a press pass, probably my bad. But luckily, mercifully, one of the officers there recognised me, as I say, I go there quite a few times. No, no, he's OK. So they release me. But, but this, and this kind of policing is what our viewers and listeners describe as double standard policing. They see this happening in central London and elsewhere, but they don't see the same treatment of other other issues around the country. Is that part of the problem? It is. I mean, I was at the Cenotaph um, on Armistice Day and the batons were swinging in there. I, I stopped a guy getting severely hurt. Again, I filmed that. I was covered in blood. I pulled him back. In fact, his daughter thanked me for him not getting a proper pasting that day. Um, there is a very, very different attitude to policing, what they would term, and Sir Keir Starmer would term, far-right protest. But I was in there talking to these people, and they all say the same thing to me. Nobody is listening to us. Nobody understands our frustrations. Three girls, yeah. they, were say, they were saying, you know, how many girls, how many more people must die before we're listened to? And they believe the police response is disproportionate, it's harsh, and they don't feel they're equal before the law.